Today, we become legends. Hey, my name's Inter, welcome back to the channel. So the other day, I sent out a poll asking my community to rate every god in the game based on how fun the matchup is. So not necessarily how fun the god is to play, but more so how fun the god is to play against in a matchup, you know, in, in solo lane, in ADC, whatever. And as with all of my other survey data collection style videos, we're going to rank these all in a tier list and just uh, discuss the results. Um, what I think was, uh, you know, surprising about some of these, because there were definitely some surprising entries here and some that were pretty obvious. And just extrapolate from the data and uh, things like that. So I asked my audience to rate them all from uh, 0 to 10, uh, based on how fun the matchup is. Um, 7 plus is the highest we got. We didn't get anyone that was higher than a score of 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10, or like 7.5, whatever, was like the highest score. And anyone that sits directly on a border of a tier uh, will go in the higher tier. So, for example, if someone's exactly a 6, they'll go in 6 to 7, not in 5 to 6. Uh, so let's just jump in. We have Horus and Fafnir in the top tier, actually in, in this order. Um, they're going to also be ordered from left to right based on score. So uh, the, the, the very left of the tier will have a higher score than the very right of the tier. So yeah, these were the only two gods that got a higher than a 7 plus score, which is interesting to me. Um, Fafnir, I, I kind of can see why. I, I do enjoy the Fafnir matchup, to be honest. I don't really have any pat particularly huge complaints about Fafnir. You know, he has some very powerful stuff in Dragon Form. You know, Dragon Form Coerce, arguably the best ability in the game. Uh, you know, two stuns in Dragon Form. But obviously, he has to, you know, transform. It takes a while for that. It's an ultimate ability. He risks, you know, taking a lot of damage when he detransforms from that. So there's a lot of uh, risk associated with, with doing that. So I, I can see why that would be a fun matchup. Horus is a weird one. Um, personally, I wouldn't put Horus, like, super super high on my list. He'd probably be a very average character, I think. Uh, his ult makes us some very interesting plays. So, um... In terms of like how fun the character is to watch, uh, Horus would definitely be up there. But to play against, I can find him a little obnoxious sometimes with his early game damage. You know, Horus 2 plus 1 early game is, is a lot of damage. Um, especially when you're playing him in support, it feels like he hits super hard. But let's drop down to the 6 or 7 tier. We have a lot more characters than just the two in, in this tier. This is why the list kind of really starts. These two are just like above the rest. So I'll, I'll fill in this tier and we'll be right back. All right, so that's your 6 to 7 category. You know, call it S tier or whatever. If this is S plus, this will be like your S tier characters, which uh, my community rates as very fun to play against. And once again, the tier is ordered from left to right as well as top to bottom. So, you know, Amaterasu will be your highest character in the tier, verging on 7. All the one will be your lowest character in the tier, verging on 6. And of course, that means that your top 5 um, most fun characters to play against according to my community of course is uh, Fafnir, Horus, Amaterasu, Baba Yaga and Ratatoska. So pretty interesting. Um, Amma I completely agree with you know Amma would probably be in, in the 7 plus category for me. Amma's like a super fun matchup and also really fun to play as well. Uh, Baba Yaga is interesting you know clearly the, the RNG elements haven't frustrated people whatsoever considering she's in the top five most fun characters to play against so uh, pretty interesting there. Uh, Rat as well. Rat has like super strong early game and can really blow you up and snowball the game, but apparently people aren't really bothered by that. Uh, Ola Run, I really hate playing against Ola Run mostly because the ult is super obnoxious. Like when used well, his ult is so powerful and so annoying to deal with. Uh, what else is there in here? Kuzumbo. Maybe Kuzumbo slightly inflated because it's my audience and I kind of... I meme about Kuzumbo a lot, you know, it's my channel icon. It's possible that his score is inflated slightly, but to be fair, I don't play, I don't hate playing against Kuzumbo, to be completely honest with you. Um, the only real complaint I have about Kuzan is uh, the dash through the wave does so much burst early on, you gotta be very careful with that. Uh, Sir Ket, I definitely would not have up here. Sir Ket's a really annoying matchup for me. Um, like, so much mobility, so much CC, so much uh, damage. Just, like, she can build tank and just still do a lot of damage because of true damage and things like that. I really don't like playing against Sir Ket. Uh, some good ones that I definitely would put up here though, uh, Thor, Ganesha, Baron, all very fun, uh, Ra as well, Morrigan too, Morrigan's really fun to play against because like you never know what's going to happen, you know, um, even though she does have like stealth elements um, that can blow you up, which is a lot of the reason people don't like Loki, uh, Morrigan plays pretty highly here. But yeah, let's move on to the 5 to 6 category, which would be I guess your sort of A tier. All right, and so that's your A tier. So these would be, I guess, sort of the uh, middle of the road, you know, not amazingly fun, but not amazingly unfun either type of gods. You know, these are very like uh, reasonable gods, I would say, um, based on the audience survey. Of course, you, you're gonna have different opinions to this. This is like, uh, you know, a few hundred people like averaged out what everyone thinks. So it's um, a, a good representation, I think, at least of my audience of how they feel, you know, maybe not the entire player base. You know, it's possible my audience is skewed certain ways. You know, I think more of my audience are solo mains, for example, more of my audience play Conquest and other game modes and things like that. So that will affect it. Uh, which, speaking of, you know, Applash being in here, I think if my audience was Joust or Assault mains, Applash would be down in like uh, the bottom tier here. But uh, yeah, for Conquest, Applash isn't too bad. 
And if you take the middle of this tier, which is probably somewhere around uh, Ula here, ish, that will be like um, the like exactly in, in the middle of the tier, like sort of fair gods. And once again, ordered left to right as well. So, you know, Odin is the highest placement in this tier. Jingwei is the lowest placement in this tier. Uh, some interesting ones. Hercules and Yanis are expected to be lower, especially Hercules. People complain about playing against Herc all the time. You know, his, his damage is ridiculous. He can heal so much. He has the, the pull. Super good. Fenrir, I also really don't like. You know, Fenrir is just like, if you don't have bees, you're going to immediately die because he's just going to pull you under a tower or into his team and you die. Uh... If you use your jump or don't have a jump slash CC to cancel Brutalize, it will absolutely ruin you. But if you do have a way to cancel Brutalize, it's like a useless ability. So uh, Brutalize is a really failed design in my opinion. Sobek being here, you know, I mean, Sobek from support isn't so bad. Sobek from solo is really so boring. I hate playing against Sobek solo, so that would drag his score down for me. Uh, Kepri and Gen being right next to each other is interesting because I think... Um, the main frustration factor with these two characters is basically the same thing, you know, shield and capriol, they're denying your kills, that, that's what makes them frustrating, but the rest of their kits are completely fine and pretty enjoyable in my opinion. Cthulhu being here as well, I would have thought Cthulhu would be a little lower, you know, Cthulhu can be very hard to deal with, same thing with Haim, you know, a lot of people really dislike Haim, I see a lot of people complaining about Haim. Uh, some good ones in here though, you know, Terra I probably would have had higher up. I don't really have any problems with Terra whatsoever. I think she's a perfectly fine character and has some very interesting stuff. Uh, Agni is pretty fun as well, you know, very fundamental character. Just pl play uh, play good smite and you'll be able to play around Agni pretty easily. Kukulkan, although maybe Kukulkan's fine. Uh, th the main thing I have a problem with with Kukulkan is one, he can play so safe and just three the wave and run away. And two, his ult hits behind him and that always fucks me up. You know, if you're chasing him as a melee character, you have to backstep or sidestep when he presses ult because it does hit behind him instead of just uh, in the front. It seems like it wouldn't, but it does. Uh, Thanatos being here is kind of interesting as well. You know, very snowball heavy character, similar to Rat, but you know, once again, Rat is in the top five and he's a very snowbally character. So maybe snowball isn't something people care about all that much. And one final one, Susano being here as well. You know, I see people complaining about Susano 24 seven. He's one of the gods I see complained about the most, but he's... I would say slightly above the average in terms of this, uh, maybe just like around the average in terms of how funny he is as like a matchup. So yeah, people, I guess it's a vocal minority that really complain about Susano a lot because most people don't mind him all that much. For me, this is probably about where I would put him. You know, he has some annoying stuff for sure, like tons of mobility, a lot of CC and stuff like that, very slippery, but I don't mind Susano all that much. There's definitely characters I hate more than Susano, that's for sure. But let's get into the four to five tier, which will be effectively your, your B tier here. Alright, so that's your 4 to 5. Um, definitely agree with a lot of this tier, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, you know, Freya obviously a completely failed design in my opinion, either completely broken or completely garbage. Um, Hades, super annoying, especially in solo, you just, you never win lane against Hades. It, it's difficult to even go even against Hades in lane, you just let him do his thing because he heals so much and insta clears the wave. Tia, similar thing, very hard to win lane against Tia because he has, you know, the anti-CC passive, infinite healing, tons of mobility. Uh, can push you under a tower if you're playing too aggressive on him, you know, very hard to play against in solo. Uh, Artio, you know, 6 second cripple, do I need to say any more? Uh, King Arthur, I expected to be very low, um, maybe even I expected him to be lower than this, to be completely honest with you. Um, for me, I don't mind playing against Arthur that much, I'd probably put him a little higher, but I'm kind of biased, you know, King Arthur's one of my favourite gods, uh, and I really enjoy playing him, but I can definitely see how he will be frustrating um, to play against, for sure. Uh, we have Loki down in this tier, you know, I think before the rework, Loki would have been lower, I think the rework has genuinely removed some of the frustration from Loki. Um, for me, I, I just don't even mind Loki anymore, I, I would put Loki, honestly, maybe up in 6 to 7 or something, or high 5 to 6. Uh, I really don't mind playing against Loki. I think he's a pretty fun matchup in solo. Um, from jungle, I haven't seen him too much, but uh, I played against him in solo with like the Bruiser Loki builds where like they actually fight you instead of just proxying your wave like they used to. And it's actually a f fun matchup now. I enjoy it. Uh, I don't know why Vulcan solo down here. Vulcan would be like up here for me. I really enjoy the Vulcan matchup to be completely honest. Uh, he doesn't really have anything that's like super annoying. I guess the turret maybe, but I don't know. Uh, Chak being down here makes sense, very boring solo lane matchup, you know, he just heals up, he slows your attack speed, clears the wave, does, does his thing. Uh, Hell, I would personally put lower, I really don't like Hell, um, one of the most annoying healers in my opinion. Poseidon, I'd probably move Poseidon up, but I can see why he's down here, you know, he's very reliant on Kraken, he's either gonna blow you up with the Kraken and you feel super bad, or he's gonna miss Kraken and do absolutely nothing. Um, very polarizing character in that way. Uh, you know, the likes of Ao Kuang and Kali can just kind of hyper carry games from jungle. Uh, and that's not really that fun when, like, you're winning as a team, but then their Kali or Ao Kuang gets to late game and one-shots your whole team. Uh, that's not too fun to play against. 
Set probably down here because of uh, power level reasons. You know, I think Set's kit overall can be a little annoying, but probably doesn't deserve to be this low. I think he's this low because, you know, he's been like one of the best gods in the game, if not the best god in the game for like six months or, or a year or something like that. It's ridiculous. Uh, Athena down here probably because of the buffs, you know, I, I don't mind playing as Athena that much. I think the only reason she's this far down, you know, with the likes of Arceo and Tia and Skadi and stuff like that is because she's very strong right now and you're seeing her in like all your games. Uh, Guan Yu probably a similar reason. I don't think Guan has anything super annoying. I mean, he has healing, but it's not that obnoxious in terms of the healing. Uh, I think he's mostly down here just because he's, he's very strong right now and you're seeing him a lot. Persephone, obviously, you know, I'm not going to go on a rant about Persephone again. I've done that in many different videos and she's getting a rework soon. But, you know, we all know why Persephone's down here. Uh, Zeus down here makes sense. You know, Zeus is one of those characters where he's either going to get fed and blow up your entire team, win the game on his own, or he's going to get behind and then you just dive in for free and he does nothing. Uh, very unsafe god. Hebo being down here makes sense. You know, Hebo's really fun to play, but very frustrating to play against. You know, I made a rant on Hebo before. Um, it's a pretty popular video. I think a lot of people don't like Hebo, and this list really shows that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's most of the interesting ones from this tier. A lot of the other ones just kind of, like, make a lot of sense. So let's jump into the, the bottom three tiers, which have these remaining characters down here. You know, just looking at these, I can tell why these are all down here. Um, very annoying gods, pretty much all of these. So let's let's get into the three to four tier. And that's your three to four tier. Uh, Sukuyomi, Bakasura, Changa, Kumbakana, Anubis, and Arachne. I agree with all of this, except Anubis and maybe Sukuyomi. I think Sukuyomi, maybe I would move up one tier. I don't think he deserves to be on the level of, like, Bacchus, Changa, Arachne-style characters. I think he's a little bit more fun than those to play against, but I guess maybe he's down here because he's very strong right now and kind of has been very strong since his release. I think if he got some more severe nurse and wasn't that good and we didn't see him for a while... Uh, he wouldn't be this hated. Uh, Bakasura obviously makes a ton of sense. Super snowball character, invades your jungle, just power farms with Golden Blade for the first, like, 10 minutes of the game, comes out of the jungle three levels up and kills your entire team. It's really not a fun playstyle. Changa, surprisingly quite low with Changa, um, but honestly, I, I agree. I really don't like playing against the god. You know, the, the multi-man stuns, the healing, never has to recall to base, immunity. The one poke is so obnoxious just over and over again because of the low cooldown. Really annoying god, in my opinion. Uh, Kumba obviously just completely obnoxious CC, you know, can banish you out of the fight, can mez you forever, got the root as well, pretty big damage honestly throughout the early to mid game. Maybe I'd move Kumba up one though, I don't think he's quite as annoying as like uh, some of these gods. Anubis I think straight up should not be down here. Um, general sentiment in the community is that Anubis is super annoying to play against, I really completely disagree with that, I would put Anubis like up here, I really enjoy playing against Anubis. There's a lot of counterplay to it, you know, if you if you play badly against Anubis, he's going to destroy you, but if you build your anti-heal, you dive him correctly, you try and force his beads and then CC him and things like that, save your mobility. Uh, I think he can be a very fun matchup, there's a lot of interesting stuff to playing around him there. Uh, I don't think he belongs down with Bakasura and Arachne, not, not a chance. And then obviously Arachne, you know, my audience probably hates Arachne slightly more than the average player because of how much I rip on Arachne. Um... I probably attract people that also want to rip on Arachne uh, with some of my videos, but yeah, Arachne just absolutely deserves to be down here. Super snowball-y, really annoying, you know. If she gets a lead, she's going to absolutely obliterate you and there's almost nothing you can do about it. If she gets behind, she just uses her ult to run away and doesn't really do anything. And the final two tiers here, 2 to 3 has Nox and 1 to 2 has Afro. These, wait, where, why do I have Izanami? Oh, Izanami's supposed to be in here, my bad. Okay, so Izanami is in 3 to 4. Um, makes sense, you know, she has, like, super obnoxious, annoying wave clear early on, just, like, a pressure monster, you know, noobs pick her to win the lane for free, because, uh, if you win lane in, like, low ranks as an ADC, you just get fed and you win the game, so, pretty cheesy strategy, honestly, with Izanami. And yeah, these two, Danza and Tiamat, uh, w when I released this survey originally, like a while back, I just copied the survey to, to do this one, and I forgot to add Danza, Boro, and Tiamat, so those won't be on the list. I imagine they will be quite low, though, um, expectations will be, you know, 3 to 4 or 2 to 3 for these, probably. But, uh, the remaining two, Nox in 2 to 3 makes complete sense to me, um, just... I mean, it's Nox. Do I need to explain anymore? You know, she can hide inside people, the 2-1 combo. If she can hit the 2-1 combo, you're dead. If she can't, she's garbage. And then Aphrodite, <laughs> I think maybe, once again, my audience here is skewed slightly against Aphrodite, but I think the community sentiment generally is that Afro is, like, the most unfun god in the game, or at least, like, bottom five in terms of how unfun she is. 
But yeah, I can imagine her being literally the least fun god to play against in the game, and this survey is probably slightly skewed by my audience, because I rip on Afro all the time, and once again, I probably attract other people that like to rip on Afro by doing that. Yeah, Afro was somewhere around like a 1.7 or something, so she was on the upper end of this tier, but she was a decent amount below like everyone else. You know, Nox was like 2.5 or something like that, so she was almost an entire point below Nox. And then Nox was almost an entire point below all of these. So, like, these two characters, Nox and, and Afro, are, like, by far the most hated characters, at least by my audience. But, yeah, let's let's zoom out and get the whole the whole tier list there. It might be a bit small, but, you know, I want to see the whole tier list here. So, like, the top five most fun characters, Fafnir, Horus, Amaterasu, Baba Yaga, and Ratatoska. Top five least fun, Aphrodite, Nox, Arachne, Anubis, and Kumba. I completely disagree with Anubis, by the way. I can't believe Anubis is down here. You guys have disappointed me. But yeah, let me know if you have any other ideas for these uh, like survey data related videos, you know, what I can what I can ask you guys and create a tier list from. I think these are pretty interesting, you know, it provides some insight into what the general community view is because when you see these videos, you know, like I've made these videos before, you know, like my top five most hated gods or whatever, um, or my top five favorite gods, you know, they're obviously incredibly biased to one person. So seeing data collected from, you know, hundreds of people uh, to give a generalized view of what the community thinks overall, I think is very useful. And there was a lot of stuff I didn't expect here. You know, Rat and Baba, I did not expect to be this high. I was going to say Anubis, I didn't expect to be this low, but I did expect Anubis to be this low. I just disagree with it. But, you know, there's a lot of interesting ones here that, that make you think about what makes a matchup fun and, and things like that. So, yeah, let me know if you have any other ideas for these, these survey style tier lists, and I will catch you guys in another video later on. Have a great day, and peace out, you nerds.